welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so today's case is just one of those cases that shock you make you numb make you feel so much pain and anger and guilt at the same time even though you know you're not the person who was in the situation even though you know you there's nothing much you could have done but you still have those emotions this is a case of namla mutua from south africa so this case has been making headlines the last two or three days uh, before I get into this video, uh, please, if you're watching this video, man or woman, please comment down below justice for Namla Mtua. Do not forget to comment so that we push this hashtag for this poor woman. This video is going to be triggering. There's going to be raw pictures. So I get, get easily triggered by images. Please do not watch this video. On the 21st of April this year, a 34-year-old woman, Singwa Namla Mtua, was murdered in her driveway. She was actually murdered just when she had returned home. I'm not sure if she was returning home from work, but I suspect it might have been returning home from work. She was shot nine times by a known male at 7 p.m. As usual, police was called. Um, they took a statement uh, and they, you know, they investigated the scene. And that was that. After that, the family never heard from anyone, has never heard from the police. Basically, the case has stalled. By the way, as I'm recording this, the case is still quiet and dead. So because the family had known from the word jump, that Namla was going through um, an abusive relationship with this guy because they had also known that the man had threatened Namla um, just a few months ago. The family decided that, you know, they're going to try as much as possible to try and get justice for this poor girl by sharing whatever information they have on the Internet. So this is when they were looking for information. They were trying to open her phone. It was pa password protected. So then they contacted, they contacted, you know, the, the com companies and the phone was opened. In particular, there was a phone that Namla had kept privately. I think she needed that to just evidence the abuse she was going through so that whatever, if anything, so that if anything happens to her, at least there's evidence, at least this man can be prosecuted. So all the images that I'm sharing here uh, actually out of that phone so she recorded these images herself including a raw footage that i'm probably not gonna share here that was recorded by her secretly this man did not know that she was actually recording this video namla was buried two weeks ago and in now that video that is going viral you can see her sister just breaking down just being overwhelmed and one thing that one thing that she says is that um, I saw it coming, but I was really hoping it doesn't, which means that statement actually is really telling because I'm sure if you if you know someone who's going through an abuse, domestic abuse, particularly like getting them out of that situation is always nearly even impossible. It's so, so hard because they've been manipulated. They are being manipulated even against you who is trying to help. And so it's usually just a very, very difficult situation. So I really feel for this family. I really feel for that sister. I hope they can hold up. So Namla, as she was properly known, was in a relationship with a married businessman who is also an army major. Now, I don't know if he is a current army major or an ex-army major. It's being reported as both, so I'm not sure, so just be aware. Namla had suffered years of physical abuse from this man. In one incident, she was beaten by this man with a leather belt for eight hours straight. This is a video that is too gruesome. I can't even share it on this platform, but if you want to watch it, you can find it on Twitter. In the video, you can see Namla is naked, completely naked, and her arms tied up while he, while he whips her with a belt. In fact, this is the video that has angered so many people and prompted for an urgent call for justice. So again, if you're watching this video, do the right thing call for justice in the comment section or go to Twitter or social media, Facebook, whatever you can call for justice, please just do it. Stop watching this video. Go put up a hashtag. 
So after that video from her sister, it's very clear that the family knew about the abuse. But again, they were so helpless. There was nothing much you can do to these people who are senior in the society as well as have a lot of money. So they are powerful, but then they have money too, which make them double powerful. So they were completely helpless. It is said that as soon as they heard of her death, they just knew who did it. They did not question anything. They just knew it was him, allegedly. After enduring years of physical abuse, Namla had finally decided that she was done. She was tired. She wanted to go it alone. She was leaving the relationship. That was only two months ago before she was murdered. When the boyfriend heard that she was planning to leave, first of all, he took the car from her. So I'm imagining he probably bought her the car. I'm not sure if it's the car on the screen, but I'm suspecting because that's the car she would normally drive. But when she was short, she was driving a hired car, which is a red car that will, I will pop on the screen. So as soon as the boyfriend had this, she took he took away the car. He also warned her that if you leave, I will kill you. So uh, Namla fearing for her life, she decided to move. Remember how I said I would revisit why this man is well connected? So, as I've mentioned before, this man is a major uh, in the army and he has some very powerful connections in the police force, obviously. Plus, he is a businessman, a successful businessman. He has a lot of money. In fact, he is currently out on bail for being charged with a premeditated murder and attempted murder in 2018. So he actually has a case of murder pending in court. So that says a lot. Namla was a very hardworking girl. She had a decent job. She had her own money. She worked at a municipality. On 21st of April, she arrived home in a rented car that we can see that's a red car uh, because the man had taken the other car away from her. Now, I don't know if she owned that car or if she was gifted that car. I'm thinking potentially the guy had gifted her that car, so he decided to take it back. So upon arriving home in that car, she was shot nine times. She reported that this person had been stalking her for up to two days. So by the time he came to finish the job, he already know what time she got home. He already know what car she was driving. And that's when uh, the man then walked in and just shot the poor woman nine times and he left. So sources are reporting that the motive for murder was because um, this guy was afraid that um, Namna had, had kept some evidence of his abuse towards her and that this information would come out. So in his mind, he was thinking by killing her and, you know, taking her out of this world. I'm not sure if her other mobile was taken. Maybe her other mobile was taken as well. I'm not sure at this point. But he just thought that by killing her, she would just die and she would be buried and that's it. It's over because she had already threatened her and the family as well. Remember, she threatened. Remember, he had threatened not just Namla, but also Namla's family as well. So in his mind, he thought that um, even killing Namla, nobody's going to talk. The family is going to remain quiet because they are scared of him. Namla, being a smart girl, um, actually decided to buy another phone. So she had a second phone where she kept all the evidence, images, and videos of this uh, physical abuse. I don't know at what point the family found this phone, but they just decided to hold on to the phone and went ahead with the ceremonies, went ahead with the burial ceremonies. And then after the burial is when now her sister decided to bring all these images and evidence on the internet. So as soon as um, her sister shared these images online, and just detailing the level of abuse her sister went through and saying how helpless they were there was nothing much they could do and even when she tried to leave you know she got killed um the internet is going wild about this case and i'm going wild too because nobody deserves this level of abuse i do not care what you have done and if you're one of those people that is saying she must have done something no there's no level of something you can do to deserve this level of abuse it's not right it's not correct most important guys or most important to remember is that this man has not been charged at all for the murder from what I've read on Twitter, this man is untouchable and well-connected 
in the business world as well as in the police face in the police force allegedly the boyfriend claims that the police are looking at the wrong man so he alleges that he has nothing to do with the brutal murder of his girlfriend namlam tua he doesn't know who did it he's not responsible and that police are looking for the wrong person so allegedly that's what he has said i'm not sure how true that is but that's just information out there on the internet that's it for this case guys that's it for this case so thank you so much for coming back to the channel thank you for watching this video before i leave i just want to know your thoughts on this case do you think this man sent a hitman on this woman what are your thoughts please please leave me a comment down in the comment section as well as do not forget to hashtag justice for namla mutua thank you so much for coming back to the channel Thank you for liking this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Make sure to turn on that post notification bell. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.